Hi, friends of the world. Welcome once more to your Q channel, the channel of the clean, unlimited energy for all. We continue in our pursuit of our unity. First of all, friends, let me tell you, I feel most encouraged with the recent results on nuclear fusion obtained by the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California, USA. Just last December, they informed to the world they achieved a breakthrough in nuclear fusion by using lasers to get the plasma ignition. For the first time in history they achieved over unity by generating more heat than the amount of heat they used to heat up the plasma. They claim they obtained an efficiency of 150% with the nuclear reactor. The only problem is though that the fusion ignition didn't last long, perhaps just some milliseconds. However, the important fact is that without any doubt they achieved over unity to the astonishment of the academic community. They reckoned they will need one or more decades to carry out the realization of a practical commercial power plant using nuclear fusion. As far as I am concerned, I intend with my Humboldt project to achieve over unity, not for a few seconds though, but 24-7, very soon and at a minute fraction of the enormous cost of these nuclear fusion reactors. So that is my goal. On the other hand, I must be honest with you and confess that despite four videos have already been published regarding our little research, there has been no response from investors to provide the funds I need in order to complete the implementation of and testing of an industrial prototype of my domestic wind farm capable of producing 5 kilowatt of electricity. I know this reality that I hope to change is mostly due to distrust and skepticism. Because even today in the academic world, many well-known professors still question the possibility of achieving over unity. However, the recent California results show that over unity shouldn't be an issue anymore. My challenge right now is, and I hope you will, you will make it your challenge too, to achieve over unity using my 
machine, i.e. to obtain over unity and a lasting over unit at a microscopic scale instead of a microscopic nuclear scale like what have been obtained by the apparently by the Lorenz laboratory. In order to do that I appeal to your contribution. I appeal to your participation in this project to make it rather a team project, a world research project in which all of us will be involved somehow. So, any contribution, any help, any ideas that you can provide are welcome. So, that I won't feel alone in this project. I would appreciate all the diffusion you can do of these videos, especially amongst the academic world, engineers and physics professionals. And I would welcome you let me know any doubt that you may have, any criticism or any objections, why not? So, it's up to you friends, I'm in your hands, you'll decide whether this modest project becomes a project for mankind or is just an initiative of mine. So please contribute in any way you can by using the links below and I assure you that any contribution, no matter how small, will be acknowledged and there is also the possibility of converting your contribution in an investment of yours as I will explain in a later video. In the quest for over unity, in this video we will continue experimenting with other domestic wind farm configurations hoping that every time we'll achieve a more efficient device. I'm going to talk in a few minutes about two main configurations I have devised for the domestic wind farm. The first one you have already seen in a previous video is what I call now an open chamber domestic wind farm. We did a testing for a 200 watt prototype that used just two mini turbines separated by an empty chamber session. In this video, we are going to set up an open chamber domestic wind farm capable of producing 200 watts 
but consisting of just two mini turbines while dispensing with the empty chamber section for the purpose of getting a device as short and compact as possible and, and will carry out measurements of the input and output voltages and currents to evaluate the power efficiency of this open chamber domestic wind farm. After that, we'll continue by presenting another very important configuration which is going to be what I call a closed chamber domestic wind farm. I will be testing this configuration to measure its electrical quantities so that we'll be able to calculate its efficiency to compare it with that of the open chamber domestic wind farm. After testing the open chamber and the closed chamber domestic wind farms, I will say a few words about a possible implementation for a bigger domestic wind farm capable of generating 5 kilowatts of power. This is going to be the industrial prototype I am proposing to implement for mass production in order to achieve a 5 kilowatt electricity power plant for every household in the world. This is the setup we are going to use to determine the power efficiency of the open chamber domestic wind farm, 200 watt domestic wind farm, which consists simply of just two mini turbines, and in which, in this particular one, we had uh, uh, dispensed with the empty chamber section for the purpose of minimizing, trying to minimize the total length of the device. The black box on the top, as usual, is used to um, conceal the, the, the PEP circuit. The low resistor uh, is, as before, a 200 watt 8 ohm resistor, and we are going to apply the input power uh, with this power supply, and we'll uh, evaluate the efficiency for four different voltages. Okay, let me switch on now the power supply to start measuring here and uh, we have uh, 42 volts applied and uh, okay uh, we take note of the readings now we take note of the readings and and then wait just a sec and then we decrease the input voltage up to 40 volts. And take a note of the readings.
Next, we decrease the input voltage up to 34 volts. Here we are for 34 volts. We take a snapshot of the readings of the, of the multimeters and uh, finally we lower the input voltage down to 20, 20 volts. Here we are. This is our final input voltage. Uh, I'll check a snapshot of the readings to use them to calculate the power efficiency of this open chamber domestic wind farm, 200 watt domestic wind farm. We'll come back, come back later with the results. Let's now build a closed chamber version of the 200 watt domestic wind farm. We start with these two turbines, right? These two mini turbines. And we are going to place them uh, to form in such a way that we form a closed uh, duct for the airflow, first of all, we can apply, just a sec, we can apply uh, this one in the, on, this, on this leg, on this leg, right, we can attach it on this leg, okay, and the, the other one, we are going to attach it on the opposite leg, right? In such a way that we complete the closed duct, you know, by inserting the other two bends in the two opposite legs, right? Like this. You see, it's quite simple to form, quite simple to form the domestic wind farm, uh, closed chamber domestic wind farm. Okay. And next, we only have to add to this a lo the low resistor, like this, low resistor to connect it to one of the turbines and the PET circuit uh, which will provide uh, more energy to the more electrical energy to the closed chamber domestic wind farm and later in this video we are going to measure the input and output voltages and currents uh, to this closed chamber 200 watts domestic wind farm and compare it with the uh, in order to evaluate the efficiency and compare it with the efficiency of the open chamber to see whether there is any improvements. This is the setup to evaluate the power efficiency of the closed chamber 200 watts domestic wind farm which consists of just two mini turbines 
like this one, including uh, its corresponding dynamo, they are placed in their cases in the middle of this donut uh, or toroid shaped configuration. Uh, the, the reds of the blocks forming the turbines are just the bends and the black boxes are just placed to conceal the power efficiency booster but uh, in due time they will be removed. In addition to that uh, we have the low resistor which as, as usual it will be the 200 watt 8 ohm resistor that will be the low resistor and here we have the voltage the input voltage meter the input current meter the output voltage across the low resistor and the output current through the low resistor we are going to provide the input power to this closed chamber device by using this power supply and we are going to use the same testing voltages we used before with the uh, open chamber 200 watt domestic wind farm. Let's start we start with the first testing voltage which is going to be 42 volts let's take a snapshot of the readings now we are going to decrease the input voltage to down to 40 volts and take a snapshot of the readings once more next we are going to decrease the input voltage down to 34 volts and take a picture of the readings Finally, we are going to decrease the input voltage down to 20 volts and check the snapshot of the readings. With these values, we are going to make the calculation of the input power, the output power, and the efficiency of this closed chamber domestic wind farm. We'll come back later with the results. These two tables show the results of the voltage and current measurements as well as the power and efficiency calculations obtained for the open chamber 200 watts domestic wind farm and the closed chamber 200 watts domestic wind farm at several input voltages. First of all, 
let's start with 20 volts, the input power for the open chamber was 45.616 watts and for the closed chamber was 45.728 watts. At the same input voltage, 20 volts, the output power of the open sh chamber was 45.154 watts, whereas the corresponding output power for the closed chamber was a little bit higher, 45.395 watts. The efficiency of a 20 volt for the open chamber domestic wind farm was 98.99%, whereas the efficiency for the closed ch chamber domestic wind farm was 99.27%. At an input voltage of 34 volts, the input power for the o open chamber was 131.840 watts, but for the closed chamber was a little bit higher, 132.148 watts. The output power for the open chamber at 34 volts was 130.406 watts, whereas for the closed chamber at the same voltage was 131.285 watts. On the other hand, the efficiency for these 34 volts uh, inputs voltage was 98.91% for the open chamber and 99.35% for the closed chamber. At an input voltage of 40 volts, the input power to the open chamber was 182.203 watts, whereas for the closed chamber, was 182.758 watts. And the output power for the open chamber was 178.124 watts at 40 volts. And for the closed uh, chamber, a bit higher, it was 181.503 watts. So the efficiency of the open chamber at 40 volts was 97.76% whilst the efficiency of the closed chamber at the same 40 volts input voltage was 99.31%. Finally, at an input voltage of 42 volts, the input power to the open chamber wind farm was 201.573 watts, whereas the input power for the closed chamber was a little lower in this case 201.417 watts. At the same voltage of 42 volts, the output power from the open chamber was 199.179 watts, whereas the output power for the closed chamber at the same voltage of 42 volts was 199.978 watts. And the efficiency 
for the open chamber at 42 volts was 98.81% highest for the closed chamber it was 99.29%. You can see that the efficiency of the closed chamber was always greater than 99%. And of course, greater than the efficiency of the open chamber, whose maximum value was 98%. 0.99%, whereas the maximum value obtained for the closed chamber was 99.35%. So, this clearly shows the improvement you can get with the closed chamber configuration in, con in contrast with the open sh chamber configuration. Now, it is time to say a few words about the possible configurations for implementing the industrial prototype of a 5 kilowatt 24-7 domestic wind farm that I intend to implement in a period of six months maximum, uh, provided I get the necessary funds required for that. One possible configuration is the open chamber configuration, uh, which has a, a maximum length of 74 centimeters and uses 12 mini turbines, like the one you have seen before, and the height or, or the diameter, the maximum diameter of the cylinder, the external, uh, the maximum diameter of the cylinder is just um, 12 centimeters. Another possible configuration, which is somehow shorter, is a closed chamber configuration, which also uh, contains 12 mini turbines, but uh, 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 six of them are placed in one leg of the, of the closed cham chamber, and the other six ones are placed in the opposite leg. Uh, it's got a, a length of 68 centimeters, a width of 32 centimeters, and a height of 12 centimeters. In a later video, I will be talking on how to set up these configurations. On the other hand, which one to use will depend on which one achieves maximum efficiency. So far, the 200 watts, two turbines, closed chamber configuration achieves the better efficiency than the corresponding open chamber configuration. However, we continue uh, trying to uh, improve the efficiency of both configurations and uh, with the goal to, to get over units. On the other hand, the electrical parameters uh, of, this, of any of these configuration can, uh, one possibility is that we'll use a low resistor of uh, 8 ohms with a power rating of 5 kilowatts uh, and uh, the output voltage will be 
200 volts, the output current 12.5 amps, and the output power will be 5 kilowatt. That's just a possibility, but there are others. that I introduced the new session in these videos that I called test your knowledge of domestic wind farm as a challenge for you so that uh, if you, if you like to uh, answer the, the, the question of these sessions, you are welcome to do it in the comments and I let you know, you know my opinion about your answers. In the next video, I will be discussing about possible strategies to increase the efficiency of the domestic wind farms and I will be presenting some experimental results with uh, other setups. Until then, thank you for watching and we'll see you again.